sitting down. There are modifications where you can stand. Um, the, I think we'll do like maybe one or two balancing poses. So we're going to stand and use the chair as support, but otherwise we're going to stay seated. Um, so I think it's really cool that you can do pretty much all the same poses, just with the support of the chair. So you're not having as much pressure on the joints. Um, we focus a lot more on mobility um, versus strengthening, which is more what you would find in your traditional yoga practice when you're on the floor. Um, so I think that's on your ankle, your wrist, or any of that stuff. So. Um, the block is here if you need, if you feel like your feet are far from the ground at any point in time, you can just put your feet up on the block. So this is again a little bit more support for you, or just scoot go forward in your chair. Because um, the feet are what's going to be around you and be your support for that practice. So, um, we're going to start with um, warming up kind of the joints, mostly in the extremities. You know what? What can I do some? And you can stop me at any time if you have questions. <laughs> it's just us. So um, I am filming. You know, I'm filming, but you're not on camera. Oh, like, okay. So if I do, if I ever talk to the camera, um, that's what's going on. And I'm really not so Um. Okay. So we're gonna start with. Um, we're going to start with the feet. So what I like to do um, is just bring the right foot to the opposite of me. Okay. So your right foot will come forward and we feel that the right foot is going to touch the ground. This whole practice, think about sitting up really tall. So think about keeping the core in as wide as you can. And then a tall spine. If you ever notice, you start to hunch forward, kind of pull everything in. I'll tell you. All right, so we'll start with just flexing the foot here. And your hands can just relax. And then we're going to point the toes back down. We're going to do that five times. Your inhale, you flex. Your exhale, you flex. Warming. Yeah. And exhale. All right. Now we're gonna add a little bit of balance. Um, we're gonna lift the foot up. You can always place the hands underneath the thigh if you need a little support. And same thing. We're gonna flex the foot and exhale. Exhale. And do one more in, exhale, and inhale, flex. And now we're going to make circles with the ankle. So move one direction. And we'll go the other way. So this whole time, when you think about your breath, moving in and out. Go ahead and stop, breathe in the leg, the foot the right foot back on the ground. So left leg comes up, heel the left foot touch to the ground, take a big breath in, and exhale, point, and up, exhale, point, and up, and one more, in, So inhale, flex the foot, lift the legs up. We need to spread the hands under the thighs. And try to lengthen the leg as much as possible, maybe a microband in the knee. Same thing here, as they drop them. Flex the foot. <laughs> inhale, flex. Uh, one more. 
Let's come back to that relaxation and take a little circle to the ankle. And it's not only works the ankle, but you're strengthening the calf muscles here. So the other way. Release the hands. We're going to fold forward. So as 
Exhale, fold forward, round the spine a little bit. So round the upper back. And then just let the arms hang. Maybe you take a little sway side to side. Maybe grab opposite elbows here. And let the neck fall between the legs. Feel a little less pressure on the lower back, lengthening through the back. This is my ragdoll pose. Good for you to see this again. Just one more breath here. And then let the hands fall to the earth. Yeah. As we inhale, Keep the spine round, and we're going to roll up vertebrae and vertebrae. So lengthening the lower back, middle back, and then upper back. Shoulder up, and then down. Good. It's going to move to our sun citation. Now that we've warmed up the legs and the arms. So our sun citations. It's going to look exactly as it does in the your yoga class. Um, you just see it. On your inhale, you just sort of sweep up the arms, lift the arms to the sky, connect the palms, and then exhale, draw the hands down to the heart. And one more like that. Circle sweep the arms and reach them. Exhale, hands. Right, this time you sweep the arms up, inhale. On your exhale, you're going to fold forward. So you can round the spine just like we just did, or you can keep the back on your chest. And then you rise all the way back up. Inhale, you rise, sweep the arms out and up. Palms touch overhead. And hands to the heart. Let's do that two more seconds. Inhale, sweep the arms to the side. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, rise all the way back. Circle, sweep the arms out and up. Put hands to the heart. Exhale. One more, reach up. Inhale. Five all the way down. Twist 
to the right, opposite of me, near as you can feel. Right arm will reach behind you, and your left hand comes to your right arm. And so only to say again, as deep as feels comfortable, but think about the hips staying where they are, and only moving the torso. Keep a breath in here. Maybe look over that right shoulder as you exhale. So let's come to the center. Inhale, bring the arms back to the sky. And then other side. Left hand behind you, right hand left side. As you twist, sit up as tall as you can. Twist to the torso. With inhale, come to center. Reach the arms forward. Exhale, twist to right. Inhale, to the center. And twist to the right. One more on each side. Three center, and then. And twist. And awesome. Do a good one to crack your back too. If you ever need it. To the left, mind is back. Good. Inhale, come back. Let's take a sun salutation again. Hands to the floor. Circle stick the arms to the sky. And exhale. Fall forward. Holding. Hands all the way up in mind. Circle stick the arms to the sky. Hands to the heart. All right, how are you feeling so far? Stressed out. Stressed out. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling less stressed out. Oh. Are you doing this good? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, then. What I, my goal is just for you guys to learn basic things you can take home with you and do when you feel stressed or you can't sleep or whatever it might be. You just need a little movement. All you need is your foot. It's so sweet. Okay. Um, so now, what I would like to do is show you a couple poses and then we're going to add them all together and do. Um, so I showed you the set side equation. Um, the next pose is called Yadis. So this is like, um, it's like a wide squat, basically. Same thing as with our cat house. You're going to bring the legs a little wider and point the toe down the heel tip. Perfect. So this is really it. <laughs> you just sit up really tall. The fun thing about this pose is you can have, yeah, 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 scoot forward maybe. I feel like if you're back here, you have to be a little bit more flexible and open. Um, really, the only thing to think about is the knees. So when we're in this pose, we get a little tired in the legs, and we want to let the knees fall in. This, if you let the knees fall in, you're going to put pressure on the knees. So always think about the feet flat and the knees press a little bit out. So you're activating a little bit the inner thighs. Um, but other than that, not much work from the legs. Maybe you're squeezing the glutes a little bit, but you should let the chair kind of support you here. And then arms, you can bring the arms to the sky. You can bring the hands down to the heart. And then I like to add a little movement. This goes try to work on some of them. But you can bring the hands back to the thigh and dip the right shoulder down and do a little twist to the left. Inhale, lift up from the center and then twist to the other side. Dip the left shoulder down. Left to the center. Two more each of the right shoulder down. Two center in. And one left. 
esquerda. Vai para a base. O que eu estou pensando é. É, quase é. É, então, é isso, guys. One more thing if you're ever like alone in your house and you're having some nerves. You can sit on the chair, bring your arms out, and you can just like, you know, dance a little. <laughs>
another way to do a lunge. Again, like you said, without the chair, you can just hold on. Um, you can step one foot onto the chair. Um, it's a little bit more forgiving if, than like having being really low to the ground. So maybe the right foot comes back. It depends on your knees. This is a little less stress on the knee than being close to the ground. Because oh. yeah. when you are, I think, you know, if you're doing a lunge, you can't, if you, if you have knee issues, if you're doing parts, you're not going to want to bend down into this, right? Because this is going to hurt. This is all parts on your knee. If you have your leg up here, you can still get that 90 degree angle without sinking as far down into the lunge. Um, can you put up here? Sure you can. <laughs> Never say can't. Um, anyway, or with the block too. Although the block is less supportive, like you could be do this. Just some options. Okay. See the other side. More people watching. Um. Okay. Our right knee is gonna stay. Our right leg is gonna stay forward. Left leg comes to the side. Okay. Left knee bent. Right leg straight. Beautiful. All right. Four your two arms to start. And then the left elbow to the left thigh. Maybe the hand on your side or your lower back. But maybe start to reach the right arm to the sky. I'm going to turn around so the camera can see the standard you're at. So it really just depends. Each side is probably a little different. This side looks like you have a little more mobility. Does that feel that way? Yeah. You can even, if you want to work on shoulder mobility, you can take those same circles with the arm that we did at the beginning of class. A really good one for the shoulder joint. I love this one because it my other spirit cracking. So good. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and lift up. Uh, okay. So that's kind of our little sequence. Oh, we forgot this one. Right foot stays where it is, and then extend the, sorry, left leg stays where it is, extend the left foot. Oh my gosh, right one. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Right foot stays where it is, extend the left foot. Two, something I did for on the other side, your hands can rest on the side. Eventually, maybe bring the arms up a little bit. Just focus a little more. Alright, let's come back to center. We're going to add it all together. So it's going to go a little bit faster. Uh, okay, not sure. Let's see now, Grandma. I'm just going to be honest, I'm sorry to you. 
hands back to the heart. Good. And then swing that left leg around so it's straight out in front of you. Right knee bent out to the right side. Good. As you inhale, lift the chest, bring the arms wide. And turn the upper body towards that left leg. Look through the right fingertips. Beautiful. One breath in. Good. On your exhale, right elbow comes to the right thigh for a side angle. You reach the arm, left arm to the side for the line. Or rest it on your left hip. One breath in. Good. Breath out. Right, inhale, lift up back to the center. And then swing both legs around. Bring your hands back to the the arms up to the sky. Exhale, bow all the way forward. Inhale, circle through the arms, lift back up. Hands to the heart, exhale. Bring both legs wide again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you can 
when we go back to phase three, I also just want you guys to make comfortable. So. Yeah. Um, well, we're starting. This is just a one-time workshop, but I think yeah, if if people like it, um, and it's something that's gonna that people are gonna come to, of course we can make it a regular thing. And these are the kind of so just just watch them online to see if it's something like that. Um. Thank <laughs> you. 